Hi everyone, today I will be reading the book If Picasso Painted a Snowman. Before I begin reading, let's review the elements of art. There are seven elements of art, including line, shape, form, color, texture, and value. See if you can identify any of these elements being used as I read the book. This is the book If Picasso Painted a Snowman by Amy and Greg Newbold, read aloud by Erika Moron. If someone asked you to paint a snowman, you would probably start with three white circles stacked one upon another. Then you would add black dots for eyes, an orange triangle for a nose, and a black dotted smile. But if Pablo Picasso painted a snowman, it would look like this. Not all artists paint the same. Can you find J.M.W. Turner's snowman? Lost in the blizzard. Blam! Roy Lichtenstein's snow hero saves the day. Georgia O'Keeffe's snowman wouldn't bloom long in the desert. A patchwork quilt, soft and cozy, wraps up Gustav Klimt's snow family. How many snowmen hide in Claude Monet's haystack? A dust-colored snowman watches Pablita Velarde's ornamental birds. Jackson Pollock painted his snowman. Splish, splash, splat. In Salvador Dali's winter fantasy, snowmen drip like melty cheese. Rickety rack! A stick snowman drives Pockley's wire car. Mark Chagas' snowman caver in a bright circus ring. Dot upon dot upon dot. Here's a snowman by George's Surratt. P. Mondrian's snowman is square. Do you see a carrot anywhere there? Circles surround circles as Sonia Delaney's snowman spins. The rhythm of the street make Jacob Lawrence's snowman smile. Vincent Van Gogh's snowman swirls and curls in the wavy hills. And Grant Wood's famous snowman gothic will never melt away. What would your snowman look like? Now that we've read the book, we're going to be creating our own snowman. You're going to be needing paper and art supplies of your choice. I chose acrylic paints and paintbrushes to create my snowman. To create your snowman, you first want to sketch or draw it out. This is how I sketched mine. Once you're done sketching or drawing your snowman, you want to begin adding color. I used my acrylic paints to do this. I did make some mistakes, but that's okay. Once you're done adding color to your snowman, you're practically finished. This is my snowman. How does yours look? Here are some great examples for my siblings. The first one is for my younger brother, Gilberto Moron, and the second one is for my youngest brother, Jonathan Moron. I just love how creative they both were. Here are some more examples. They're both from two of my younger sisters. The first one is from Giselle Moron, and the second one is from Stephanie Moron. They're both very creative and included different elements of art. Lastly, here are my credits.